Yeah, go on. He's not one of those uh, martyrs who is remembered by anybody. No. Oh. Jamadar Bagh Ali Shaheed. Jamadar Bagh Ali Shaheed, you know, he, according to this date, is he uh, was martyred on the 14th of November 1947. Uh -huh. Yeah, he was uh, in the Azad Kashmir regular forces, basically. Right. Yeah. So, uh, well, I mean, that was a very loose uh, kind of uh, formation. Well, yeah, yes, because, the uh, only formation that existed at that time was that. Yeah. He was part of that, although before then he was in the British British Indian Army. Uh -huh. yeah. When did you come back? After the Second World War? Uh, yeah, uh, Second World War finished in forty five. Yeah. So he came back and then there was troubles here. Uh -huh. So all the demobilized soldiers from the Indian Army, yeah. they were back here. Uh -huh. and they were actually part of the Punch Rebellion. Yeah. against the Maharaja mm -hmm. and uh, at that time the only military force that existed yeah. was uh, you know the Azad Kashmir regular forces basically right. so uh, he was marched in Kotli mm. um, we hear by, by, by the Dogra uh, yeah forces? by the Dogra forces yeah, yeah but they yeah. were fighting the Dogra forces at that time sure. you see. so he had a mortar uh, a fire which he came into right, and, yeah. uh, that he died. He left two children, one's daughter, yeah. and an unson born at that time. Right. A son unborn at right, that time. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So my father took their care, you know. Right. After his death. Uh -huh. Yeah. But you know, I so mean, he was he was basically your father's father, yeah. No, no. He, my, my my father, yeah. my father's wife and his wife, they were sisters. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So he was your your father's cousin. Not cousin. You can yeah. say Hamzulf. Hamzulf. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, co co we brother. Live here in the village, the mall. Yeah, and that's where we live. So, so, so I mean, how many people like that were were, were killed? Um, well, the without, there isn't an um, official record. Yeah, but I mean, uh, people like uh, Bagali Shaikh, right? Yeah. Uh, they never get to mentioned yeah. in any of the books, and uh, locally as well, mm. you don't get to hear his name. Mm. And no commemoration, nothing. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there are many other, you know, uh, soldiers who laid their lives for this country. Mm. Basically, at that time, one must remember this movement here yeah. wasn't for Pakistan. It yeah. was against the Maharaja. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but uh, uh, the, this this movement uh, started by the Punjis uh, over the question of or the issue of Malia. Well, taxes, of, of, of taxes, taxes yeah. and all that, and right. because of the um, poverty that existed here, right, and the taxes that were imposed by the Maharaja, uh, then th this rebellion started, particularly yeah. from Punch, basically, and this wasn't uh, um, uh, for um, for accession of Kashmir to Pakistan. It was basically against the Maharaja. It was for rights, yeah. Yeah, basically. But rights. but uh, but the involvement uh, of, of Pakistan. In this whole process, uh, you know, cannot be discounted. Uh, well, no, I mean, he died on. I mean, certainly, certainly, Sardar Ibrahim, right, who was uh, the main instigator of this Punch Rebellion, uh, certainly the main uh, political figure uh, behind this. Uh, you know, he was already taking wages from Pakistan even before Pakistan was made mm. in July 1947. Well, he, he writes in his book. Um, yeah. You know, we we had uh, this. Uh, uh, he goes, uh, you know, we were against the Maharaja's unjust rule. And um, there were a lot of us who were uh, interested um, uh, in, in uh, uh, overthrowing the Maharaja's government, but we didn't have any money. And yes, uh, we, some, some of our Pakistani friends helped us. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is that uh, if one... And, 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 and ultimately, it's worked out to Pakistan's interest. The, 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 well, uh, yes, the, but if you look at the first government that was announced, although it was a very loose and everything, Yeah. Not so highly organized, the fourth well, 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 even, even that first government, you know, it wasn't, wasn't representative, was it? I mean, well, the state. well, when we look at the program of that government, yeah. right, it claims to represent the people, okay, for the whole state, nothing to do with India or Pakistan, basically. And that lasted from 4th of October until the um, uh, until 24th, the 24th yeah. when it was reformed and uh, uh, Ibrahim Khan was... Uh, made you know uh, he was woken up uh, in the middle of the night of uh, the early oh. hours of the morning of the 24th oh. and uh, told by um, the district commissioner and also on the 22nd of october right yeah. the pakistani forces had intervened in kashmir yeah but prior to that there was tribal lashkar yeah 
um, tribal invasion, in fact. Yeah. And the tribes who were involved, they were people were told that we are going to help the Muslim brethren, you know, brothers, uh, yeah. um, because the Hindus were killing them. You know, and for Islam and all that, well, which isn't but, true. Which I mean, isn't they're, they're, true, actually. Yeah. Which means that uh, there was a pre-planned conspiracy, yeah. right, to intervene. I, I, th I think you know we, we can say safely, right, uh, from historical record that both India and Pakistan uh, were um, uh, conducting their own uh, uh, me uh, uh, methods to take over the state. I mean, well, both, I think on Pakistani side, so was, I think it was, it was, it was more to do with Jinnah. It, yeah. They were told specifically because most of the Pakistani army was ruled yeah. by the was uh, uh, led by many. Well, majority of them were British officers, yeah. right? So they were told not to intervene. Yeah, but they did. Mm. And uh, having uh, gone through the uh, tribal uh, invasion, yeah. then militarily Pakistan, you know, intervened here on 22nd of October. Basically, yeah. and two days later, this government was reformed. You know, the 24th right. of October government. Mm. But if we look at the 24th of October government and the program of the um, uh, Re Republic of Kashmir mm. government that was announced on the 4th of October, yeah. there is a difference because that 4th of October government represented try to represent the program was a whole of the nation, Kashmiri right. nation, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, what this shows, right, by him being killed on the uh, 14th of November, mm -hmm. and by that time, um, you know, Gilgit Baldistan had also been um, uh, annexed, if you like, or, um, I mean, certainly. Well, for uh, that yeah, matter, yeah, Gilgit Baldistan yeah. so, so, was so, 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 it's interesting that the Dogra forces but was still was that. still was still here by the 14th yeah. of November. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you know, a good couple of weeks after the tribal attack. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. They were. Mm. Mm. So, so it seems as if this fighting carried on um, um, un until December, perhaps. No. Yeah. Okay. Until they went to the uh, UN. Yeah, which was for a ceasefire. Yeah. Uh, okay, lovely. Um, there, there are still many aspects of uh, our history which are still uh, not. Uh, yeah, still not, uh, have still not surfaced, but um, mm. but I think uh, I mean remembering uh, Jamadar Bagali is, is is important for us to to remember mm. that um, or to let people know that in October November of 1947 uh, there was a struggle going on. Mm. But uh, basically, that struggle was yeah. against the Dogra regime. Yeah. One must remember that mm. the struggle was not for the accession of Kashmir to mm. Pakistan. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So this is something that's important to be remembered. Remembered, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Lovely. Thank you.